Some residents of the Ashanti region mining town of Obwase have protested the sighting of a COVID-19 isolation center there. Ironically, Obwase has become the new epicenter of the coronavirus in the region. Out of 453 cases in the entire region, Obwase alone has about 261. That's more than half of the region's case count. Take a look. Out of 43,611 cumulative specimens collected in all districts in Ashanti, Obwase accounts for the highest number of over 4,000. The town is the first in the region to have begun contact tracing after recording the first confirmed COVID-19 case. With support from mining giant Angugod Ashanti, Obwase has a strong COVID-19 task force whose control and command center provides 24-hour support service. Same, however, cannot be said of the attitude of the public especially market women. They exhibit their doubts about existence of coronavirus by flouting with impunity every social distance protocol, exposing the town's 220,000 population to risk. Yeah, was a funny work room, man. Yeah, old German, Titsu. Yeah, you need to say, I learned our hope. We'll be as a funny new way. Yeah, see, as one more, I need to say, I'm social distance. Anamibua, <laughs> The situation has compelled local authorities to close to business two major markets which share about 3,000 traders between them. Obwasi Municipal Chief Executive Elijah Adansibona tells Joy News people openly demand to see COVID-19 patients to be convinced. He describes such negative attitude as worrying amid the national effort to overcome the pandemic. They don't really believe the existence of the virus. I'm telling you. They think that if indeed the virus, where are the people? They've been asking us, where are the people? Show us where they live. But we cannot do that because of stigma. Stigmatization. If you tell them that, oh, Mr. Simesi has got it, people run away from the person. And some can even commit suicide. So it is something we would never do. But we want the people to know that the virus is real and we should not play with it. Local government and health authorities are nonetheless intensifying public sensitization. Mr. Adam Sebona warns he may be compelled to recommend a lockdown of Obwasi if disregard for lay down protocols continue. If the people are not ready to go by what we are putting out. Then I also be compelled to suggest to authorities that Obasi should be because we cannot defy others and say we are safe. We are not. So if we get to that point, yes, if I'm supposed to uh, recommend, I will do that. But for now, let's implement um, um, what we've put together and see. From Obasi, Oimi Ntibia reporting. I'll be connecting with Ohimi Interior. We're told that there is a develop development on that particular story. Ohimi connects with me right after this. Welcome back. Ohimi joins me uh, with more on that Obwasi story. Ohimi is rather disturbing. We understand that people actually went to an isolation centre today. What did they go there for? Yes, I give you. That was yesterday. The information we picked was that when health authorities went to put the place in shape to admit uh, patients or COVID-19 cases, uh, positive cases, then residents uh, mass up at the facility to actually a guest house that has been turned into an isolation center demanding that they relocate the facility since the residents there 
were not comfortable with the presence of the isolation center in their community. And uh, the demand is that they don't want the facilities to be sited in their location. And beyond this, it's not only yesterday that they went to the place, but ever since the owners of the facility, you know, promised to release it to the health authorities to be used as an isolation center, uh, people have been, uh, in, uh, have been in up and arms against the owner and then health authorities uh, to convert the guest house into an isolation center. Authorities dealing with this particular problem, I mean, if they know that this is a site and they even bring people there, they may as well uh, attempt to attack them. Are authorities doing anything about this? Yes, the Obwasi COVID-19 task force have been up and doing with the support of the police. Yesterday, we went there to restore calm. And beyond this, the two uh, district assemblies, we have the Obwasi municipal and then the Obwasi is a district assembly. The political heads have also been meeting to discuss a possible solution to the issue. And just uh, today, the What's regional it? health what director, Dr. Emmanuel Simkrain, and then his deputy, <laughs> Dr. Nanaya Okuri, were all here uh, to confer with the uh, two political heads to uh, find an amicable solution to the matter. Uh, just a while ago, I was speaking to the acting uh, municipal health director, Yaya Menu, uh, who told me, with the support of the two uh, political heads in this area, they've been able to iron out those differences and possibly the uh, isolation center will be put uh, to use this thing. Are you in Obwase as we speak? Yes, I'm in Obwase currently. The last time you reported, the people, the, the people seem to seem a bit last as far as social distancing and masks wearing was concerned. What do you see at the moment? N nothing has I haven't seen so much change here. Hmm. No, I haven't seen so much change here. The perception that even the virus uh, is not in Obwasi has also influenced uh, people's uh, attention, their support, and their uh, whatever effort that they have to put in to ensure that they protect themselves against COVID-19. In areas that I visited today, I have been to Akaporiso, uh, Tutuka, the Harbour Women, and those places. Almost everybody you meet, few of them are in those masks. And those who are in those masks are mostly those who are uh, in their shops. These are places that I saw people in those masks. And so this is a headache for the health uh, officials, and they say that they will continue to educate the public, increase uh, public sensitization on the use of the nose mask especially and also to observe social distancing protocols mm. but the worry is that, that with the figures that we are seeing in Obwasi, these are not new uh, cases but they were part of the backlog that were collected about three weeks or two weeks ago and so the, the worry for health officials is that tracing uh, these uh, cases people whose samples have been uh, tested uh, positive it's also a headache. It's mm. something that we have started in earnest. And the fear is that there's a possibility that even the numbers will go up. Things, uh, the, uh, the samples were taken three weeks ago, and the people don't show any sign. They've been allowed to go back to their uh, normal duties. The possibility of them mingling with the community is very high. And then it may be transmitting, uh, transmitting the virus is also high. So they, are, they say that they will do everything possible uh, to complete the contact tracing to ensure that all those who are involved uh, are, are reached. Ohemi, thank you very much for that update. Ohemi Teria there bringing us uh, an update on the situation in Obwasi, which is becoming an epicenter in the Ashanti region. Very worrying situation there. He'll bring us a report subsequently.